In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add multimedia content to a conception that you add to the concept database. So we're going to continue working with our organizational communication uh, conception in the database. We're going to jump over to this tab here called multimedia. And by clicking on it, we're brought to the multimedia page. Now as you can see over here, it says multimedia items already entered and there's none. So let's go ahead and add some. The first place we're going to look is to see if anything about organizational communication already exists in the SCLCR multimedia library. So first, let's go ahead and search for organizational communication. We'll hit the go button. And here's what it finds so far in the multimedia library. None of these images are particularly useful to organizational communication. However, this video is an introduction to organizational communication. So let's go ahead and add this video to our concept since it seems particularly relevant. All we do is check the box and come down and click Add Selected Multimedia Items. And you'll see now over here, multimedia items already entered and here's the video. But let's go ahead and add some more information. For example, we might want to add a link to a website that's not already in the multimedia library. For example, adapted from a field guide to leadership supervision, this is a website by Carter McNamara. Let's create a link to this website since it studies internal organizational communications. All we have to do is grab the address and now we can hit add your own multimedia items. So let's just choose the kind of multimedia that we're going to enter. And in this case, we're going to be entering a web link. And so here, we type in the address to the web page. And then here, we enter a title for the web page. And then next, we're going to enter some keywords so that when people come looking for this link in the multimedia library, they can find it. So for example, organizational communication. and then we'll use a comma to separate it and we'll also include a couple of other keywords. For example, the document we're linking to here discusses internal issues and then we can enter a short description, usually a sentence or two long, that explains what the website is. Okay, so all we have to do now is check this box that says we have permission to link to it, and since it's a public website, we can do that. And now we just hit Submit Web Link. And here we go, you can see success, the media item we added worked. So now we'll continue editing our conception. So now we're back to editing organizational communication and you can see that now there's a web link to basics and internal organizational communications. Let's add another link to another website. In this case I'm going to add a link to the website for the Association for Business Communication. There is, is a website that supports a lot of research in the area of organizational communication. So I'll go ahead and fill in the information about this website just like we did before. And then once I've entered all the information in, I can go ahead and hit Submit Web Link. And it was successful, so now I will return to editing my concept. And now you can see there are two websites as well as the video. But now to finish up, let's add an image to our concept. I've gone ahead and got one already that um, has some information about the relationship between roles that people play. So let's go ahead and add that image. This time I'm going to select image or photo. And I'll go ahead and say choose file and this will let me open a file from my own computer. Once I've selected the file name, next I can go ahead and enter a title a keyword and description, just like I've been doing for the other web pages. So once I'm all ready to go, I just hit submit image. And 
and now you can see the image was successfully submitted. So let's go back to return to editing your conception. So now my conception has two web links, a video from the library, and an image. That's pretty good for now. Every time you add an item, it's automatically saved. And so in this way, you can continue working on your concept. Feel free to jump back to any of these other sections, such as title, author, citations, or fields, as your workflow makes them necessary. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Publish and Status tab to actually publish a finished conception.